Hey, it's Something Student here, and today I want to showcase a little program I created where I can showcase how a linear function would be drawn in a mathematical program, giving some inputs using sliders, which can be changed, so we can actually just very simply showcase how when changing the values in a linear function would change how it looks. And I can then change my A value and my B value, where the A value is how much I change. So every time I go one out on A, I will go A up, and our B value is the connection or where our linear function hits or cuts our Y axis. And as you can see down here, I can input some linear function. So let's, I will just do some B being, let's do 1A plus 10. So 1A, 10B would be this one. And as just showcase, I can then change the A values to make it bigger or make it smaller, get it closer to zero when we hit zero if I can hit it. I can't, but then it's just a straight line. If I was able to hit completely zero, it would just be a horizontal line. Let me just showcase if I just do zero like this. Which is a horizontal line. And my B value is where, as mentioned, we hit the Y axis. So how it is all set up is we actually just using the coordinates of our anger panes or our panes and giving some inputs and then calculating the positions of two dots and then drawing a line between these two dots. So let me just go through some of the code. So firstly I just have a class called linear function which contains my A and my B value. I then format it so I can look a bit bigger better. I then have a few constructors, depending if I wanted to add just a A or B value, or if I added two coordinates, which haven't been implemented, but it could be. And I can get my A and B using getters. I can then calculate a specific Y position, just using the function as you would normally. And when giving the input, we just set up this function. Then inside my controller, I have a few things to set up. I have my pane which is what my line is drawn in, and my dots, then have my sliders and text fields to get some text input, have the text where I'm writing my linear function, and then have the pane width, which is used to define like the area I'm creating my linear function inside. Whenever I initialize, I set up my sliders, where I add some value properties to my sliders, so whenever I change the slider, update everything in this case clear the linear function and then update it giving the new information the new numbers and how we calculate the linear function it's just very simply get the a and the b value and create a linear function using the class i just made and then draw it when we draw it we create two points on our pane so technically let me just show inside scene builder everything is drawn inside this pane, only this pane, but because our line is going like outside the pane, I added this extra color to make it look a bit better. But technically, it's only inside this area we're drawing, or we're calculating stuff. Inside this area, we then have a 0, 0.0. But the way JavaFX is set up, our 0, 0.0, when we have a square like this, is not in the left corner, it's in the top left. So technically, this is 0, 0.0. But in a coordinate system, 0, 0.0 would be down here. So to make up for this, we need, whenever we do anything, we need to do x is the same, x is as normal, but it's kind of opposite. So our x need to, or y need to be minus negative and added the width of our pane. So in this case, let's say we wanted to get our 0, 0.0 y position. So before it's here, so we need to make it negative. For now it's zero, so it's just the same. And then we add 300 and plus 300 is the same as going down. But let's say we were some random spot here. We would need to take the position we have been moved, make it negative. So instead of going down here, we go up from here and then we move it down. So instead of going down here, we go up here and move it down 300. I hope that made kind of sense.
Otherwise, just play around with it a bit. But it can be a bit confusing because the code in it is set up. JavaFX is kind of like opposite of how we do in a content system. But in general, just draw the two dots. We can just simply draw a line again using the same concept of doing negative y plus the width of our pane. And draw them, add them to a pane so we can see it. And then using the drawn function to showcase. And we then just very simply, every time we change our sliders, we just calculate and the calculate also called a draw with draws. And we can then, as you also saw I did, we can just add them specifically, add specific or create function. We'll just do the same thing kinder. Create in a function, just getting the input, drawing them and we're setting the value of our sliders to match. So whenever I change the values down here, let's say I did 50, now we're going to see minus, minus 5 and 5, so I would do like 2 and 300 and move the values of the slicers as well. But this was my setup, I guess, of our linear function simulation program. I don't know what you'd call it, but just a fun little project I made because I thought it'd be kind of fun to see if I can set up something where I can showcase the changes A and B have on a linear function. So I'm going to show just a little showcase of my project. Please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.